check in on the action with Jay Monson on Thursday. And the pitch. Hit on the ground to Vargas. Big bouncer goes right over him. Took a, a bad bounce. The runner's going to try to score. Throw coming in to the plate is up the line. And the Lobos have their first run of the ball game. The pitch is ripped into left center field on a line. Going to go all the way to the fence. The runner is up third now. He will score easily. And the batter winds up at second base with a double. And the Lobos have jumped right back into this game as they score three times here in the fifth inning. Ground ball to shortstop. Fielded there. The throw to first is in time for the second out. So Walton and Coe both out on ground ball outs here in the fifth inning. Which is extremely fast. Ground ball to third base. Fielded there. A run will score. The throw to first, then back to second. The batter is out at first base. A run scores, and the uh, base runner second holds. So the King of Cougars regain the lead. We're at the midway point in this game. Cougars ahead by a run. Hit into center field for a solid base hit. And the Cougars got a two run lead as Parker delivers again. That's his third hit of the game against Law from Boyce. His first run batted in. Cougars ahead five to three. Ground ball fielded at short. Throw to second in time for the force out. Ripped into center field. That's another solid base hit. Walton, Walton has the ball. Throw comes into the infield. The runners will wind up at first and third. And another run scores for New Mexico. Nada scored easily from second base. 2-2 pitch. Lined into right field for another solid base hit. Another run will score. The runners will wind up at first and second. That ball was just, uh, oh, maybe six inches above. 3-2 and two pitch. Bounce slowly to second base. Fielded there, throw to first, just in time, so they get the runner, but a run scores. Hibbets out on a ground ball, two second. BYU team loses to the first place New Mexico team by a score of nine to seven. Here's the pitch. Hit to left field, as Parker can do so well. Left fielder backing up, backing up, makes the catch on the warning track and falls down, and a run scores after the catch. So Parker does get a run home for the Cougars on a sacrifice fly to left field from third. Ground ball may be in the hole. It is. It's into left field. The Cougars will send the runner. The ball is fumbled out there by the left fielder. I don't think he had a play anyway. Hit in the hole. It is. It's into left field for a base hit. The Cougars will try to score the runner. Here's the throw coming to the plate. And it is not in time. In fact, I don't know if it was kicked away or just bounced away. And the base runners both move up a notch. So the Cougars now have three runs facing the left-handed pitcher. Hit high in the air to left field, back fairly deep, backing up, backing up, and it's gone. I didn't think it had quite the carry, but it just kept going as you watch Hibbets in left field. You could tell that he knew it was going to go out there as he went back to the fence, looked up and saw it go over the fence in back of him for a three-run home run. Line drive down the right field line. That will definitely score two runs. And Walton is digging for second base. He's in there standing up with a double. So the Cougars now lead by a score of eight to five. Hit in the hole into left field. Here comes Walton rounding third. There will be no throw to the plate. He will score easily. And Casey Cole knocks in another run for BYU. That uh, alley over there into left field in the hole has been big for BYU this inning. Hits one in the gap to left field. Left fielder giving chase. Can't get to it. It's by him. Goes to the fence. The Cougars will send Cole home. Parker is digging for third. The throw comes across to third. He slides in safe. And the Cougars get another run. And Parker winds up on third base with some good speed. Score, scoring all the way from first was Casey Cole. Cougars win it over to Mexico, 13 to 5. He hits one into left field. That's going to be in for a base hit. The Cougars will send the runner coming around third, and the base runners will wind up at first and second as McNaughton scores from second. And uh, Iosa winds up at second. 
Here's the pitch. Ripped into center field. Solid base hit. It'll score another run. And the base runners will wind up at first and third again. Scoring from second base, Ioso. Second run of the game for BYU. Ralph stops at second. Now that's pretty good. Hits one into left field, left center field. The shortstop, Gracie, made a dive for it. Couldn't touch it. The run will score. He's going to try to get to second. Makes it in there with a slide. So he, he hit it to left field. Gracie stretched out dough for it. He didn't miss it by much. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hits it to center field. That's going to be in the gap and go all the way to the fence. Two runs will score. And into second base is also with a, a Cavazo, Cavazos, let's say. Was easily moves from second to third. Well, here he throws one in the dirt again. This one bounces all the way back to the stand. To him again. Oh. Pitch is lined up the middle, go into short center field. Cougar shortstop got a glove on it, is running into the center field position, but can't come up with the ball. The base is loaded. Hit on the ground into the uh, left center field. That's a single. One run in. Two runs in. Throw comes into the infield with the base runners at first and third. Two more runs score in the fourth inning. That's a fair ball down the first baseline into the right field corner. One run will score. Go to sleep, little one. Hit into right field for a base hit. Cougars will send the runner in and he'll score. The other runners hold at first and second. And the Lobos have won the ball game then, beating BYU by a score of 15 to 6. So they take two out of three in the series here in Provo. And the Lobos are now 13 and 5 in league play. BYU goes to 7 and 11. And TCU leads at 15 and 5. New Mexico 13 and 5. San Diego State 13 and 7. Those three teams in a tight scramble to win the league or get high seeds.